Hey guys, Joe back again for another video with West Coast Shavings Daily Shave Series. Uh, guys, really excited about this one today. I got a couple new items that I just got in. Gonna try to try using them. I got one older one that we're gonna use as well, and we're gonna keep going with the straight razor. So today we're gonna use the same straight razor I've been using for the last three videos. And the reason why I'm still using the same one is because I want to show consistency and that to, and to really have you guys learn how to use a straight razor by using the same one. Switching from razor to razor, you know, it's, not, it's great, it's fun when you get really good at it, but at first, I don't recommend it because you don't get to learn your face as much. We're gonna talk more about mapping your skin today and I'm gonna go over like what I do here and I'll show you like the way my hair grows. Uh, my hair usually grows the same direction with the exception of right here. With a straight razor, I can get away with it, but um, with a safety razor, you know, it, it's really, um, I have to switch up the directions when I, when I do shave. All right, so I'm gonna go over with the gear for the day. We have our, our West Coast Shaving Green Shaving Bowl. This bowl is a ceramic bowl. It really holds in the heat very well. Uh, you know, I'm a fan of bowls and, and scuttles. I'm gonna show you a couple more of mine in the next few weeks of what I own, but I've been really enjoying this, so I'm gonna use it. Uh, the brush of the day is a Declaration uh, Brush Works. It is a Batch 3 Neb Nebula. Uh, this is last year's brush. Uh, in my opinion, out of all the ones that I've owned, all the ones that I've used, I think the, the Batch 3 is the best. It's the only one I currently have from Declaration I'm gonna keep hold on to. Really hard to get, but these brushes are nice. Uh, batch 3 is my favorite, and I, I'm gonna hold on to this one. This one's never going leaving me. Uh, also, soap of the day is Sterling Ben Franklin. Uh, big history fan here, guys. I love historic stuff. I love historic razors. And I'm just checking, okay, just make sure everything's good. Uh, I really do like cool things. Now, this one is based on, supposed to be based on a hot day and um, Ben Franklin signing the Constitution and what his pants would smell like. At least that's what it said. I don't know about that. It smells more like a museum. Uh, having spent some time in Boston recently, in the last couple of years, I did, I did visit Boston on a work trip for a few weeks. I went to a lot of museums, and this scent, this soap really does smell like a museum to me. It doesn't smell like pants, so that's it. Ben Franklin from Sterling. Great thing about Sterling is they have 5.8 ounces for a regular puck of soap when most are doing four or three and a half. So, I mean, you get a lot of soap. It lasts a long time. I have a barber shop that I've had for like three years. I don't think I've even dented it yet, and I use it quite often. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get just, we started lathering the soap. I'm going to get just a little bit more in there lather my face and remember to use the alum block which I have here remember that alum block we talked about last week and then our little sponge because we don't want to use the sink now I want to get a good lather this is a very dense brush cool thing about declaration is all his work is done here He's one of the only guys in the USA, I think, that knots, that ties his own knots. And you're gonna see shaving cream all over. I'm wearing a golf shirt. Um, I, I usually shave, I'm gonna be honest, I shave shirtless, but for our videos, I'm like, I'm not gonna do that to you guys. You know, you don't wanna see that. <laughs> you see some big hairy Italian guy. All right, as you can see, the Sterling soaps are nice, man. This is, this is good stuff. Uh, West Coast Shaving does carry all the Sterling, most of the Sterling lines. So if you're ever looking for it, if you're interested, definitely get it. The soap's gonna last you forever. Okay, so we're all lathered up, ready to go. I'm going to take a little bit of water, wipe my hands on the alum block, just like so, to gain some traction. And we're gonna start with some skin stretching. We're gonna start going with the with down against uh, with the grain. Sorry. Three days growth, guys. Three days growth. Again, I'm not using any pressure, 30 degree angle. I'm gonna go a little bit, probably a little quicker today because we're going you know, with the grain, but it might, I know my hair grows with the grain down this way on my, my cheeks. Most everybody probably does too. Small strokes. So the razor, everybody was asking me, I had a few questions the other day, uh, what do I hone with? And I'll tell you right after this, this pass here. Now I switch around. Here's where my hair grows upwards, up, up this side right here. Okay, so 
So now I'm going to go up a little bit against the grain here because this is where, actually, this is going with the grain for me. So as you can see, I'm going with the grain because that's how my hair grows. Right, on just on this side from right here down. So now I can go right back to, again, uh, with the grain again this way, switch up spides and go this the other way around. If you can hear in the background the wind, it's South Florida. We've been going through a huge uh, tropical depression right now. And it's been raining probably for, I don't know, uh, a week maybe straight, which is something we're used to here. But I mean, it's just been crazy. So honing the blade, the way I hone my blades are, um, well, I don't use synthetic stones that I can avoid. This little Dovo razor has over 1,500 shaves, I'd say. Well over 1,500 shaves. I use this razor primarily for five or six years. And over here, my hair doesn't grow for some reason. It's only here. It grows weird. I don't know why, but um, that's why I don't have to do that so much on that side. Okay. Here's the chin line. Okay. Go back to this way. And you can see, I, you'll see how I kind of like change what I do. And the reason being for that is because I'll see my skin stretch and I can tell. And I want it to be comfortable, and I don't want to cut myself, so I want to make sure I'm careful. It's crucial to use two hands. If you cannot use two hands, you're going to have to practice, because I can't do it with one. And you can see I lost a little cream here, I'll show you. Um, I have very coarse hair, as you can hear. I uh, was watching the video the other day. I cannot believe how loud it was. And I was like, whoa, that was intense. Okay. Now the most difficult part here. All right, first pass is done. So what I'll do is a little rinse. Okay. All right, I'm gonna re-lather. Got a nice lather in a bowl. I'm kind of close to the camera. I apologize, guys. No, I'm a sloppy shaver, I'm not gonna lie. Very dense knot, so it's kind of like flat. I'm kind of like using it like a paintbrush almost. I usually do that with against the grain. All right, so remember 90% of the hair that I want is gone, is gone right now. So right now, loom block, some traction. I'm just gonna go against the grain, above, uh, against the grain very easily. And you can see, 
I'm not really looking to get rid of hair. I'm just touching up. And you don't want to really look at getting rid of too much hair in this part of the game because you're gonna, that's where you get irritation. Just showing you lightest pressure possible. It's okay to skip around. And then after when I'm done, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and I'll just touch up and all that good stuff. What I'll do is I'll touch up and just check to see if I've got any spots missing. Okay. I think we're looking pretty good. Yeah. A little spot there, but not too bad. Actually, that's probably, I had a little uh, zit there. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little gump against green here. All right, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna touch up here. You can see I got a little hair here in this spot. Okay, touch up a little bit more. I'm using the least amount of pressure I can possibly use on that side of my face because I do not like irritation here, so. Okay, so that's it there. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to um, rinse with some cold water. Okay, pat dry with a towel. Oh, got cream on my towel, got it all over my face again. In my ears, usually I get out of shaving. I'll go to work sometimes, and I'll be like, oh, what's in your ears? I go, shaving cream. How do, you, how do you get in your ears? I go, I don't know, it just happens. A loom block, a little water on it, see the loom block, and I'm just gonna go. And that's it. I don't use aftershave. Remember, I, I mentioned in a couple of videos, I'm, a, I'm in the wine business, so having overly powered soap and aftershave is not good. Uh, kind of, uh, well, it, it inhibits my ability to smell the wines and be able to scent, and scent is just about as important as taste. So if without that, I also, also won't make too many friends with people around me. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I have a really special video coming up soon. I'm gonna be using a 200 plus gram a safety razor from West Coast Shaving. This thing's a monster. It's the biggest safety razor I've ever owned. I'm gonna try that next on the next shave of the day, uh, next week. Uh, for all of you that are getting affected by the tropical storm in uh, Florida and Georgia, uh, guys, please, you know, hold up. Uh, from being experienced with many hurricanes, best thing to do is stay inside, don't go out, and just, you know, watch some good Netflix movies and just hang out, make a big bowl of chili, and just enjoy, you know, the weekend. I know it's a pretty crappy, you know, Memorial Day weekend, for a lot of us here down here, but you know what? It, we're used to it by now. Um, everybody else stay safe, have fun, and remember to shave straight and safe. I'll see you next time.